Hi Cougars! In this video I'm going to show you how to bring back a text box that you have accidentally deleted from a Google slide and I will show you how to bring back an entire Google slide if you have accidentally deleted one of those as well. Let's start with the entire Google slide. Let's say you accidentally just delete a slide, right? Whoops! Oh my gosh, what did I do? What you can do to bring that back is before you close this tab Press the undo button and that will bring back the slide that you accidentally deleted. However, if you close this tab before you are able to click undo to bring back that Google slide, it will be deleted and you won't be able to bring it back the next time that you open up this document. So your changes are not saved um, in between when you close and reopen a document in a tab. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If you do something and you close that tab, you will not be able to undo it later. Okay, now let's say that you have deleted a text box on accident. So I click here on this text box and I accidentally delete it, right? Let's say I accidentally delete that one and I accidentally delete this one too. What I can do is the exact same thing that I did for the Google slide. I can just press undo, it'll bring back the last thing that I deleted, undo again, it'll bring back the next to last thing that I deleted, and click undo again, and the, and the thing that I deleted before that will come back as well. So uh, another way that you can bring back a text box, let's say you have deleted a text box and you have accidentally closed this tab, what do you do then? Well. If you are on a slide and it has more of the same text boxes, what you can do is you can click on that text box. So just click on it when you see this when you see this arrow here, you'll have selected the entire text box. You won't be able to type into the text box, but you'll be able to move it around. Yeah, see you can move it any place you like. Once you have clicked on a text box, using these four directional arrows. What you can do is you can press control, press and hold control, and then press C, then click somewhere else on the slide, and then press and hold control and press V. Oops, oops, I guess I didn't copy it. Press control C and then control V, and you'll have another copy of that same box that you can move around. Now in order to type into the box what you need to do is make sure that you're hovering above the text and you will see this cursor here, this typing cursor, that's what it's called, what's hovering over the text is called a cursor and once you see that cursor then you can click into the text and you'll be able to type and then you can move the cursor around and erase. So let's look at that one more time. I'm going to click on this text box using the four directional arrows, then I'm going to press and hold control, then press C and let go of both buttons, then press and hold control and press V, oops, control C and control V, and then I'll be able to move that new text box that I have just copied and pasted anywhere uh, in the slide. So I hope that was helpful for you all Cougars. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.